Hey guys, Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at a 5-on-5, 5 3,500 pound hub from Dexter. Now this is going to have half inch wheel studs, and the thing I like about it, it comes pre-grease. So packing bearings and all that, we really don't have to mess with. Basically with a good number 84 spindle, we're able to remove the old hub assembly and repair any damage. Maybe some of the wheel studs have been damaged, lug nuts, whatever the case might be. We're able to remove that old one, put a brand new assembly on, use our uh, original nut washer and keeper from our axle. But outside of that, everything's gonna be new and fresh and something we really won't have to worry about for quite a while. Now in the package, you're gonna have a easy lube spindle cap, just like this, and a standard spindle cap. So if you don't have the grease zerk in there, you can use either one you want. I like that because you don't have to worry about ordering the easy lube cap if you get just a standard hub cap with the one that comes with it. So it takes a little bit of the guesswork out of it there. As far as quality goes, machined really nicely here all the way around. Don't see any imperfections or any damage with it. And this is going to work out with tires anywhere from 13 up to 15 inches. Now something we offer very similar to this is going to be from eTrailer, also pre-greased. Um, I like that one a little bit more. It has marine grade grease rather than the standard red high temp grease. Just a little bit better corrosion resistance. So if I had to pick between this one and that one, I would go with that one because of that slight upgrade in the grease and it's generally a little bit more cost effective. But both of them are very good and both of them do a very good job of keeping everything nice and cool, supporting your load as you head down the highway. Now when working with customers on this, they're all very pleased with it. They seem to last an extremely long time without much service. Um, most common questions we get on it are what size spindle, and it's a number 84 spindle, and then what size wheel and tire can I use, and that's going to be 13 to 15. So I think if you have a 5-on-5 five five bolt pattern, this is probably going to fall right in line with what you're looking for. Now to begin our installation, of course, we'll need the old hub removed. You'll need to hang on to three axle specific components. We're gonna have the washer that presses in against the bearing. We're gonna have our nut, and then we're also gonna have our keeper. Now, sometimes it'll be a spring keeper like this. Sometimes it's gonna be a nut that has tips that stick off of it and a cotter pin. So just depending on the one you've got, once you have that off, get everything cleaned up, inspect your spindle, make sure that there's no damage or anything. This is just some cast mark here and up here. But we need to check this surface, make sure it's nice and smooth. This surface, that's where our bearings are gonna ride. And then also the seal surface here. As long as that's nice and clean, we're ready to put our new hub on. I like that it comes in a bag with that pre-grease situation in there. If it were just in a box, it could pick up dirt, it could pick up debris, and that's something that we don't want. So we're gonna get that pulled out when we're ready. You see a little blue cap right here. What I'm going to do is as I slide it on my spindle, I'm going to use the spindle to push that off. There's a bearing in behind there, of course, so just be careful of that. You see our caps come off. Then we get our bearing there. We just want to get everything slid together. We'll slide our washer on and our nut. take that down hand tight and then we'll use our channel locks it's time to tighten this down pretty good this is compressing everything just to make sure everything's seated properly once we know it's seated properly then we're just going to back that off a touch we want our hub to be free to move but we don't want it to be able to wiggle in and out At that point, we'll get our keeper, and we might have to adjust our nut a little bit for it to work. That's what we're looking for. It should slide down and sit right flush up against that nut. And then just depending on what spindle you have, you see we've got the easy lube with the grease zerk on it. You could also just use the solid cap if you didn't have that there. We wanna just kinda line it up with the bevel Begin to knock it in squarely and then just work our way around until it's right flush up against the face of the hub there. And at that point, we're ready to put our tire back on and hit the road. 
as you can see guys that's why i prefer a hub that's pre-greased makes it real easy to go back on there we don't have to worry about packing the bearings we don't have to worry about making the big mess generally associated with it so this is definitely the way i would go